first category is in ICT applications and content for social empowerment and sustainable development. And the winner is UNESCO, Women in Africa History, e-learning from Africa. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, I'm uh, deeply honored to be here. And on behalf of UNESCO, I accept the Gem Tech Award as recognition of the importance we ascribe, along with UN Women and ITU, to empowering girls and women through the new information and communication technologies. Nobody tells the story that African women are at the forefront of development said Dr. Zuma, chairperson of the African Union Commission. This is precisely the goal of UNESCO, Women in African History, an e-learning tool to tell this story, drawing on the full potential of the new technology. The e-learning tool brings together so much that is essential to UNESCO. Our two global priorities, Africa and gender equality, and the use of new information and communication technologies, including open educational resources for quality learning, li linking technology with heritage and local content and knowledge and history. These are all angles of UNESCO's work to strengthen human rights and dignity, to widen access to the creation and sharing of knowledge, to promote our common history as a basis for respect and mutual understanding. This fits into the UNESCO's flagship, the general history of Africa, and our work to take forward the pedagogical use of the general history of Africa. This e-learning tool is an opportunity to celebrate the women who have shaped Africa and who, in so doing, have changed the world. Each of them tells a story of resistance to tyranny and the struggle for human rights and dignity for the empowerment of girls and women. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish to thank the government of Bulgaria for generously supporting the e-learning tool. I believe this award pays tribute to their leadership in advancing the priorities we share. I thank you very much. <laughs> 